Hi, today we're going to make homemade fresh pasta. And this is a really fun um, activity to do with the family. So Lexi's gonna help me make pasta today. Lexi, do you wanna measure the flour? Okay. Because we need a cup of flour. We'll put the flour and the semolina into the bowl. We do a cup of semolina, pour that in. Then we'll put some salt in. So you wanna put enough, so a teaspoon and a half. Here's the fun part, you get to whisk it. And after this, we'll move on to the wet ingredients. And what we wanna do is we wanna have the dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients in the other bowl. Okay, that's great, Lex. Let's crack some eggs, okay? Okay. Nope, oh, harder. Okay, let me help you. Ooh, good <laughs> crack. Okay, next egg, give it a good whack, good whack. Okay, there you go. Oh, Ooh, another one. Okay, try next to get the shell. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now we're going to measure the water. I need to wash my okay, hands. Okay, go wash your hands. When she washes her hands, I'm going to continue on here. So we need one tablespoon of water, two teaspoons in addition to one tablespoon. Wow, that was fast. Just in time to measure the olive oil. You want to hold this? One tablespoon. Okay, pour that in, and then we'll do a quick whisk. You want to incorporate the oil and the water so that it's nice and smooth. That's great. Pour it in, Lex. And then we're going to stir the eggs and gradually bring in the flour Mom, to the side. Can I do it? You certainly can. Stir, stir, stir. Like this? Yep. Yeah. Bring it all together. Okay. Can I give it? A, can I borrow it for one second? So you just have to feel the dough. And it really helps to use your hands when you're doing this. And it's fun for the kids to use their hands too, right Lex? Here, let's put it on the table. And you'll see it's really crumbly right now. By the time we're done eating this, it's gonna be a nice smooth dough. I'm gonna have you put a little sprinkle of water on the dough. Just a little couple drops. Dip your finger in it. And just sprinkle it like rain, like rain. See, it doesn't take a lot of water. And this looks really dry because we've just started to knead it. Now, if you notice, I'm not using any extra flour on the table right now because my dough is a good consistency. But if you find it sticking, you might want to lightly flour your table. So you can see that this dough is getting smoother and smoother. And it's not super soft, but it's not hard either. Want to try it? <laughs> so once you've kneaded it for a while, we're going to form this into a patty, and then we're going to divide it into three pieces. We just want to flatten it out into a round. Why don't Can you I do try? one? Sure. Use the heel of your hand. That's what has power. There you go. And then we're gonna wrap these in plastic wrap. We'll let them rest at room temperature for 45 minutes or up to four hours. Okay, so the first part of pasta making is done. Thanks, Lex. So now we have our pasta. It's nice and rested, it's nice and flexible. You're going to see it looks a lot different than when we wrapped it up in plastic. What happens is the moisture has time to redistribute in the pasta so it's nice and smooth and shiny and moist. So we're going to roll this now. We're going to put the pasta machine on the first setting, which is the widest. And we're going to roll it through. Come on, roll, Lexi, roll. The first time is the hardest. Okay. So once it goes through the first time, and this is pretty dry, so I'm not going to add any more flour to the surface. We're going to fold it into an envelope, and press down. Then we're going to take that rough edge and we're going to feed that edge first into the machine at the same width setting. Help it through again. We're going to roll it in thirds again, press down. Then into the machine again. Start rolling. Keep going. Oh. There. 
so after we roll it through the machine for the third time, which is called kneading, we're going to wrap it in plastic and let it rest for 10 minutes or up to 30 minutes wrapped in plastic on this at room temperature. I guess you need a rest too, huh? So now the dough is rested for 10-15 minutes. We're going to unwrap it. We're going to continue rolling it until it's thin enough to make some fresh pasta noodles. So now we've started at one. Now we're going to go to number two. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of flour. So that's number two. Now we're going to move to number three. Let's start slowly and then you can go faster. And now it's getting longer and longer. If the dough gets too long, trim it with a knife, cut, just cut it in half. This is still a good length. Now we're at number four. Keep going. Oh, she's got on fire now. Number five. Ooh, it's getting really thin. Two more. We're going to the last one. We're going to six. That's the last one. That's we're gonna because we're gonna make spaghetti with this pasta. So we're going to number six, second to last roll. So here you have it. It's slightly transparent. You can see your hands through. It feels really good. Can I feel? Yeah, feel it. Like underneath. So smooth. So we're going to cut it in half, and then I have a sheet pan here. I'm going to lay it out on the sheet pan, sprinkle with flour. A little bit more flour on top. Can I put some? Yep. And we'll wrap this with plastic and we'll roll the rest of our dough. And then we'll cut it into the shapes that we want. 